Hi everyone, and welcome. As you can see, I've just been uh, cutting up a piece of timber on my bandsaw, and it's cut it very nicely. It's a uh, uniform thickness all the way through, reasonably thin piece. It's four inches high, and as you can see, the machine had no trouble cutting it at all. Uh, this timber is New Zealand Remu. It's um, classified as a soft wood, but uh, if you get a nice piece of heart timber, this stuff can be as hard as and uh, will easily bend six inch nails uh, if you're silly enough to try uh, knocking them in without drilling them first. So um, let's have a look at the machine. Uh, I've only just finished uh, building it today. I've got a couple of little things I still need to do on it. A bit of paint. I've got one small hook to put in here just to hold this closed. At the moment it's being held closed by the front uh, locking mechanism. And uh, just a, a power switch. I'll put a power switch in over here just to turn it on and off. But other than that, it's basically done. Uh, those of you who have been watching my updates uh, on YouTube and those of you who have uh, seen the start of this build on the Joe's website will know that this uh, was built from plans that I got from uh, Mathis Wandell. He has an excellent website and uh, if you do a Google search for uh, bandsaws, built DIY bandsaws, uh, you'll come across this design. Uh, it's uh, very popular and the plans are very cheap as well, so uh, well worth having a look at. All right, well let's have a quick look here. First thing I've got is you will have seen me using this here. Now this is a uh, um, a fence, and I've just made it so it just simply slides on like so. Put it where you want. Tighten up the two knobs on it, and that'll just lock it in place. And you can thickness your timber or use it as a guide, and away it goes. Okay. Next thing is. Um, we have here the uh, just over nine inches of cutting capacity here, but this um, machine is actually capable of just over ten inches, and is one of the uh, reasons I actually picked this one here to build because this had such a large resource capacity. Now what I've done is I've got a wee flap there. And this here will actually move right up into there, giving me 10 inches of cutting capacity there. That should be more than enough for what I want, as the thicknesser I have uh, access to uh, can only thickness 10 inches of timber. Uh, on, on my list of projects will be a, um, a thicknessing sander, uh, but not at the moment. So we've got a good bit of uh, adjustment here. This is a very solid uh, mechanism. And in actual fact, when you're using it normally, this side piece comes off here, and you move down a hole, and it gives better clamping to the whole mechanism here. Just clamp it up, and that's rock solid. That's not going to move anywhere. I'll just put a little uh, movable door here, so I can push it up and out of the way. Unfortunately uh, I've got bolts here that uh, get in the way. I couldn't find the ones that were specified in the plans. If I had I wouldn't need this but uh, that works just as well. Okay, next uh, I'll quickly show you the, the, the covers. These come off very easily. We can take the top one off here and it's simply held in place uh, by dowels. It's got a dowel at the bottom and these dowel points here. And as you can see, they come off easily and that gives access to the uh, blade. Likewise, the bottom also comes off. There's a, a guard here at the front. You just turn this uh, wee stick there and this guard will just pop straight off. Now it's important this guard um, uh, be removable here because when it comes to tilting the table and I'll just have to quickly pop out the insert here uh, you can't tilt the table 
I haven't got those undone enough. Uh, you can't tilt the table uh, with this piece in place. <coughs> so, as you can see here, that's a 45 degree tilt, which should be more than enough for anything I want to do. Also, this guard here comes off, and as you can see, we have access to the bottom of the thing, of the uh, bandsaw for changing of the blade. Right, I'll just quickly put the insert back in and quickly reassemble it. Dust, dust collects in here. Uh, once I make uh, a, a, um, a wee stand to sit this on, this will come up to a working height and uh, the sawdust will drop into a drawer that will sit below and uh, can easily be emptied when, uh, when it gets full. Now, there should actually be a little hook here. I haven't managed to get one today. I'll have a look tomorrow when the shops are open and see if I can get one. In the meantime, this little guard here that goes at the front actually holds the whole thing together. So I don't need to worry too much about that for the second. Uh, this one can be a little bit tricky to get on. You've just got to make sure your blade gets into this uh, slot here. And there we have it. We have here the tensioning knob you'll have seen on the uh, previous uh, video. And really that's about it. Uh, the only problem I had building this was um, not related to the plans itself, but in actual fact related to me not following the plans. Uh, the things that to me didn't make sense when um, I actually made little alterations that I thought would be better. Uh, I found the plans were right. Uh, they'd been drawn like that for a reason and uh, they really need to be followed so um, a few redos um, one or two minor little things of my own but nothing nothing major at all it's an excellent machine if you just follow the plans uh, you'll end up with a, a really nice uh, bandsaw okay guys well that's it uh, i hope you've enjoyed the couple of videos i have done on it and uh, I'm looking forward to getting a base made for it and actually being able to, to use it, at least use it in a standing position anyway. Rightio guys, well thanks for dropping by and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.